Hi, my name's Mike Enriquez, and I'm the author and presenter of the Toughest Stuff CT Registry Review Seminar. Today's Some Things to Know lecture is the topic contiguous versus non-contiguous. You know, the terminology. Well, relative to contiguous, by definition, we're talking about sharing a common border, and that is touching, like the 48 contiguous states. Some synonyms include adjacent, neighboring, adjoining, in contact, proximate, nearby, close, or another definition for contiguous is next or together in sequence. Some synonyms include neighboring, adjacent, adjoining, next door, bordering. Now that's contiguous. What about non-contiguous? By definition, we mean not together or next to in a sequence. Now then, with regard to touching or sharing a common border, there's a comparison that can be drawn with pitch as well as detector array. As realized with pitch, well, only when pitch is one are the slices contiguous, that is touching or next to one another. When the pitch value is less than one, there will be overlap and the slices are non-contiguous. On the other hand, when the pitch is greater than one, there'll be areas of the view angle not covered, so the slices will be non-contiguous. We'll show you by example. Then relative to the detector array, look at the relationship between rectangles that make up the detector array, and you will readily see the difference between the matrix versus the adaptive versus the hybrid type of detector array. In slide four, there's the application relative to pitch, and contiguous is right in the middle. That's where pitch equals one. Notice there is absolutely no overlap of the beam width at any view angle. Now then, to the right and to the left, we have the non-contiguous examples. To the left, we have pitch less than one non-contiguous. That's the situation of overlap, where every beam width has some overlap at every view angle. On the other extreme, to the right, non-contiguous, now we have a pitch greater than one, and we actually have some view angles that are not covered by the beam width at certain table positions. Again, a non-contiguous type of situation. Well, what about the application relative to detector array? Contiguous is on top. Look at the matrix array. All the rectangles are proportionate. They look like one another, and they're adjacent and touching one another. That's in direct opposition to what's going on in the hybrid array and the adaptive array. Look at how those rectangles are of different dimension and different relationships to one another. That makes them non-contiguous, both the hybrid and the adaptive array. Both of those are non-contiguous. Well, there you have it. That's the lesson, contiguous versus non-contiguous. If you think you need additional help for the CT registry exam, that is, take a look at www.radprof.com and look at my online on-demand webinar, approved for 16 category A CE credits and satisfying the ARRT structured education requirement. Thank you. Thank you for your time and attention. Bye now.